Hey everybody, this is QP Wife, and today we are going on a full tour of the Red Caboose Motel. And this is located in Ronks, Pennsylvania, in Lancaster County. This is so much fun here. Um, there's a restaurant here called Casey Jones, and this restaurant, you know, when you're eating, you can see the Stroudsburg Railroad come right by here, and... There's also a gift shop, and we'll take a look at that first. So here's a look at the gift shop, and this is located right next to Casey Jones Restaurant also. And they have a lot of really cool Red Caboose merchandise here, and also Casey Jones neat merchandise trains you know a lot of really cool things they even have a love tester here at the gift shop which is pretty fun a lot of railroad you know this is a cool train crossing sign right at the restaurant entrance and here's a peek at the restaurant we'll take a look inside the restaurant when we eat here a little bit later but you're actually eating in a rail car and this is a little snack area and it's located right when you check in and there's also you know a couple personal items in case you forgot anything you can purchase that here too but they have a lot of um, homemade crafts and baked goods and snacks this is inside the rail car at Casey Jones restaurant and it's so charming in here the food is awesome the scenery is spectacular and here's a quick look at the menu. They have a lot of good things on here. Everything we've had here has been great. And, you know, we took um, our family here for an overnight and, you know, the kids just had a blast and everybody really enjoyed the food. You also can see the Stralsburg Railroad coming back and forth here. The Stralsburg Railroad station is actually located directly to the right when you're eating in here. And it's super scenic to just watch out here. You can see horse and buggies, the trains, just a really unique and fun place to dine. <laughs> okay, now we're going to head over and take a look at the caboose rooms. This one is number four caboose, and this is a double double and we were so surprised when we walked in and saw these rooms we're going to show you three different cabooses but they were all super clean really updated um, just really pleasant to be in and it was we have to say this was just one of our most relaxing trips we've ever taken and uh, it was just great but you can see in here there's a microwave this one has a full tub and shower Really nice windows. Really clean. Now some of these do not have full tubs, so if that's a priority, you just need to ask about that. Nice sink. And this one has two double beds, kind of in separate areas. So this is like the little back room with the double bed. And this is the outside of the double-double caboose just so beautiful the scenery and the next caboose we're going to head to is number 20 and this is the large family caboose and there's so much room in this caboose it's so awesome for families so we'll take a look in here there's four bunk beds in this large family caboose and you can check out the other different cabooses there's like a medium family caboose and a small family caboose with different, amount, different amounts of um, bunk beds. A little desk area, a TV, microwave, mini fridge. Awesome. These windows are just great. It lets in so much light. Sink area. In the back is this adorable bedroom with, um, you know, two windows on the sides and the views from all of these cabooses are just phenomenal. You either see trains, you see the other cabooses and this one, the, out this window, you see other cabooses. There's not a bad view anywhere. And this one, you can actually see the Stroudsburg Railroad right from your hotel room. Really spacious. 
This is the bathroom. The shower. Again, if you need a bathtub, you need to just double check um, and they can tell you which cabooses have the full bathtubs. Again, just a great view from every single window. And here's the microwave and coffee area. Mini fridge. And this is the outside of the full family caboose. Just absolutely beautiful. And we visited here in winter too, and it was just awesome. The last caboose we'll visit is the mail car. And this is a really large one. It's two rooms combined. Um, this part of the mail car has two uh, bathrooms, a pull-out Murphy bed, a huge TV. We were surprised how big that TV was. Really nice decor. We love the train theming in all these cabooses. Just super clean. You know, really lovely. There's the Murphy bed to pull down from the wall. And this one has two bathrooms. Both of them do not have tubs. They're the walk-in showers. A little kitchen or seating area to have your coffee in the morning. And there's also a little balcony out there. We'll show you in a second. And this was a queen bed. It's really comfortable, too. Ceiling fan, which is awesome to have for sleeping. And here's a look at the first bathroom. Really light with the window. Has your, per, you know, shampoo and conditioner, soap, nice clean shower. And here's the view of the second bathroom, which is basically the same as the first bathroom. Again, just nice, clean, light and airy with the window. There's windows everywhere, which is so awesome. And out here is also a fridge and a microwave and a coffee area. Neat train theming. I don't know what that wheel is, but it's super cool. And this is the outside deck when you come into the, uh, this mail car. Just a beautiful view. You can see the railroad come by, views of other trains. Just so unique and picturesque everywhere you turn. Awesome to watch the sunrise right, you know, we saw the sunrise right out the window. Just, and the sunset the other direction, just beautiful. This is the deck outside of the bedroom. And there's actually a couple chairs and a table here. This is just a view of the nighttime. It's so charming. This was a cold winter night and it is just adorable out here. You know, there's train lights flashing. It's so quiet and just really so fun, relaxing and unique. We just can't say enough. And here's a quick time lapse if you're interested. Otherwise, you can just fast forward. We just thought it was really cool of the overnight. Just And this will go just until um, the sun starts to rise. This is just some scenery from the sunrise. It was just a really beautiful morning, so thought you would enjoy a couple beautiful shots of Lancaster County sunrise.
horse and buggy rides are also available here at the Red Caboose Motel for purchase, too. Watching the trains come by is so much fun. Everybody in your group will love it. And there's tons of horse and buggies that come here, which is just so relaxing to watch and listen to. You know, there's Amish farms all surrounding the Red Caboose Motel. So again, the scenery is just spectacular. Also on this property is a free petting zoo. And there's feed available for purchase inside at the check-in. And I also think there's a feed machines um, right outside here. And there's pigs and uh, uh, horses and some ponies and, and an alpaca. So the kids love this. Actually, adults love this too. They're so cute. There is a new refinished barn that's available for rent. They have special events here. And the barn is really gorgeous. Weddings. People have weddings here. And on this property too, you can also rent, um, there's some farmhouse suites and conductor's quarters. And you can check online to see all the different selections of those rentals, but they're all real beautiful. This is a back picture of the barn and silo. And I know there's a viewing area in that silo. It wasn't available when we were there, unfortunately, to go up in. But the barn is really beautiful. It overlooks the railroad. So we'll just show you some of the neat scenery of the trains crossing and a couple horse and buggies crossing. So hope you enjoy this scenery of this awesome property.
Well, thanks for joining us on this trip of the Red Caboose Motel and Casey Jones Restaurant. We hope you enjoyed seeing this full property tour and the cabooses and hope it helps you plan your trip. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.